The Limit by Skywalker 14 is currently one of my favorite levels. The combination of how well it uses its song, the way it creates worlds, and its background is amazing. And the gameplay itself is also quite enjoyable and fun to play. The level is currently one of my favorites, mostly because of the art style, but also because of the idea behind the level. Skywalker says that the level is based off of the concept of going off limits, as shown with some of the horror sections later in the level and the transitions into them. Almost every transition in the level feels this way, and there are tons of parts where the edge of the level is just showing randomly, which it fits the theme really well. I haven't seen a theme executed this well in a level in a long time, and I think it works really well. The whole level feels just a little bit eerie and off, especially the upside down tree part right after the first horror section, which feels a little unsettling, especially right after the part before it. The level overall executes its theme really well and almost perfectly, and there are very few flaws I can think of relating to the theme. Even beyond that, the level uses its song to near perfection, using every single beat or word in the song as a part of the level. It works really well with the style that Skywalker uses uses, and the song fits perfectly in every environment it's in, even having rain to match the rain sounds within the song. The song is pretty good in my opinion, but it's brought to life by how exciting and unique the environments that's used in are. Now, the level is supposed to be a horror level, and there are two specific parts that are supposed to tailor to that theme. Although I don't find either of them scary, both of them are made to be unsettling and sort of eerie, which especially fits with the entire level as a whole. It feels like the whole level is building up to those two parts, and it becomes this weird pixel art style and completely subverts your expectations. The parts are really well executed and work really well with the song, especially since the entire level leading up to both of them was themed to also be as eerie as possible without being so eerie it distracts from that part. The level does a very good job of transitioning into them seamlessly, and overall they both feel off limits, which completely fits the level's name and its vibe. Most of Skywalker's levels are really good at world building, and he uses this to subvert your expectations even more when the horror parts come, because it seems like the world is going to be built even further, and then you're just dropped into this black and white pit with random pixel art. It's very random and sort of distracts from the gameplay, but I think overall the level works really well with it, and since the level is so long, it doesn't really matter that much in the grand scheme of things. I think both parts use the song to the fullest that are very unique and interesting, and they have great ways of throwing you back into the next part, especially the upside down forest part that comes right after the first horror section. This part feels so random and unique, but still eerie at the same time, especially with the rain being normal gravity despite everything else being flipped on its head. The signs saying this way, that way are very unique and something I haven't seen done before, and I think they work really well with the atmosphere and idea of the part. To me, this part along with the first one are the highlights of the level. The way they use their respective parts of the song and the lyric are really unique, and I think this part takes the cake, partially just because of how off limits it feels to be upside down in the forest, and the fact that everything else is normal. It's a very very interesting and very well pulled off. The graveyard part with the snow after it is kind of forgettable, honestly. I think it's one of the weaker parts in the levels. The graveyard still has a very unique design, and I think it's very cool, and it works as a perfect precursor into the next part because it's so forgettable, where you feel like the level's going to end, but then it just trails off as an unfinished level. The way the level just sort of trails off at this point is very unique and one of the most interesting gimmicks I've seen in any level to date. I think it's really unique how it feels like the end of an unfinished level. Every time I have something like this in one of my levels, I would never think to include it in an actual feature length level, but it actually works really well here, and I think it works as an amazing precursor into the next horror section. Unlike the very first horror section, I actually don't like this one as much. This is partially because of how unreadable the gameplay is, and the fact that it just does the same thing it did before. It would be much better if it did something unique or different, or if Skywalker put a completely different form of going off limits here. Or maybe a throwback to the beginning of the level, but off, maybe like as if the groups got messed up or something. Currently, the level is one of my favorite because of how well it uses its song, how well it uses its theme, and how well the designs are executed. This level is on my list to beat someday. As for right now, thank you to Skywalker for letting me use his footage and showing his level. This level is pretty cool, and it's good. Yay.